In this problem, we're dealing with something called a stem and leaf plot. And this is a really cool way to represent a set of numbers. You have um, some numbers here on the left and a line going down, and then some numbers on the right, usually more numbers. These numbers on the left, they represent the tens digit, and these numbers represent the ones digit. So if I've got a six here and a four here, that represents the number 64. There are two fours, so that means in this data set, I had two 64s. In the 70s, I had a 73, a 75, and two 76s. And I could go on listing the data. So it's a way to take a long list of numbers and kind of condense it in a way that allows you to see uh, a little bit more clearly what the numbers look like. So that's a stem and leaf plot. Now, this says uh, it shows the test scores for 16 students in an English class. And uh, we're supposed to use this to plot the answers before we uh, to, to use the plot to find the answers. Before we do that, let's go ahead and just think about this. What does this stem and leaf plot show? Well, it shows that the lowest scores were 64, so nobody was like totally bombing it. I guess 64 might be a D, but nobody's like getting an F. That's pretty cool. You had quite a few in the 80s and the 90s. So we had four in the 90s, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 10 out of 16 got either uh, 80 or 90 um, scores on there. So it looks like these students are scoring pretty well. Well, let's see if we can answer these questions now that we kind of understand this group of numbers. A says, what was the highest score overall? Well, the highest score is going to be 90 something. So I go down to the nine and then I find the highest number here. That's a seven. So that is 97. That's the highest overall score. B says, how many students scored in the 80s? Well, we've got an 80, an 81, two 82s, an 87, and an 88. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Just count the numbers here, and that'll tell you how many 80s there were. So that's six students who scored in the 80s. The last question, C says, what was the highest score in the 70s? Well, here are the 70s. I can just go to the end, and that would be a 76. So a 76 is the highest score in the 70s. And that is a little bit of work with interpreting a stem and leaf plot.